Dichlorine heptoxide is the chemical compound with the formula dichlorine heptoxide. This chlorine oxide is the anhydride of perchloric acid. It is produced by the careful distillation of perchloric acid in the presence of the dehydrating agent phosphorus pentoxide. 2 hydrogen hypochlorite plus P4010D chlorine heptoxide plus H2P4011 The chlorine 7 oxide can be distilled off from the mixture. It may also be formed by illumination on mixtures of chlorine and ozone. It slowly hydrolyzes back to perchloric acid, which is also hazardous when anhydrous. Structure D-chlorine heptoxide is an endergonic molecule, meaning it is intrinsically unstable, decomposing according to 2-D-chlorine heptoxide 2Cl2 plus 7O2 delta H equals 135 kJ per mole D-chlorine heptoxide is bent with Cl minus O minus Cl angle of 118.6 degrees giving the molecule C2 symmetry. The terminal Cl minus O distances are 1.709 A and the Cl equals O distances are 1.405 A. In this compound, chlorine exists in its highest formal oxidation state of plus 7, although the bonding in this molecule is significantly covalent. Chemistry Dichlorine heptoxide reacts with primary and secondary amines in carbon tetrachloride solution to yield perchloric amides. 2 RNH2 plus D chlorine heptoxide 2 RNHClO3 plus H2O 2 R2NH plus D chlorine heptoxide 2 R2 nitrogen trihypochlorite plus H2O IT also reacts with alkenes to give alkyl perchlorates. For example, it reacts with propene in carbon tetrachloride solution to yield isopropyl perchlorate and 1 chloro 2 propyl perchlorate. Dichlorine heptoxide is a strongly acidic oxide, and in solution it forms an equilibrium with perchloric acid. Safety Although it is the most stable chlorine oxide, D chlorine heptoxide is a strong oxidizer as well as an explosive that can be set off with flame or mechanical shock, or by contact with iodine. Nevertheless, it is less strongly oxidizing than the other chlorine oxides, and does not attack sulfur, phosphorus, or paper when cold. It has the same effects on the human body as elemental chlorine, and requires the same precautions. References